Now we're going to talk a bit about welding the manure belt. The first step in the process is to create a stiff surface to weld the ends of the belt over. The only thing to keep in mind is that if you use a metal plate, you want to have some sort of isolating material underneath between the plate and the cage system. So we have a plate here with some wooden boards. And what we have here are the two ends of the belt that we're going to weld. What we want to do now is cut these belts at an angle at about a 20 degree angle from the line perpendicular to the belt, so I'm going to use a straight edge to do that. And it doesn't have to be exact, but at about a 20 degree angle is fine. So I'll go ahead and make a mark here. And then you can come back using a razor or scissors to cut this. Now that we have this end cut, we can place it over the other end and mark it as a template so we can cut the other end at the same angle. Be sure to line up the edges so that the angle is exactly the same. Now that we have the two ends cut at the same angle, we're going to overlap them about four inches with the end that's closer to the manure drive being on top. This prevents the main scraper edge from catching underneath the weld seam. We wanna make sure that the edges are aligned so that the manure belt is not crooked. And we're aiming for about four inches of overlap. The actual welding of a belt is done with a sonic welder, which is available from Chore Time as part number 50438. The initial recommended settings for the ultrasonic welder is 85% amplitude at 1.5 seconds engagement time. These are just initial recommendations. The welding head will actually heat up with use, so you might need to adjust these settings as you progress. When using a sonic welder, you'll definitely want to wear ear protection because sonic welders produce high frequency, loud noise. It's also recommended that you use eye protection. Place the sonic welder head right where the edges come together. Pull the trigger. As you apply pressure, the welding head will actually sink into the material. And as it does, you'll kind of wiggle it back and forth. What we're aiming to see is that the weld penetrates both belts, but that it does not cause any charring. You'll want to see it come through both sides. Continue to weld along the edges, spacing each weld about an inch apart. You'll want to keep the welds as close to the edges as possible Continue until you have welded across the entire width of the belt. If you have welded the belt correctly, the weld seam should pass through the scraper without any damage.